Playboy Cardi fan base has to be the craziest of them all. I seen fans go from this to this. That motherfuckers damn near evolved with that nigga, bro. Like the glazing entirely on a different level. These motherfuckers will get excited for anything he does, bro. I've seen Cardi fans get hype over tweets, IG posts, crazier than that. Recently, I've been seeing Cardi trending just because he liked the tweet. Not tweeting anything, seeing it, reading it, and pressing like. And it doesn't end there. These motherfuckers are well-documented conspiracy theorists. Like, when it comes to Cardi dropping an album, bro, they create conspiracies. They be reaching more than Michael Jordan on Space Jam. Crazier than that, I recently seen someone make a concept of an Instagram post. Not an album cover, not a track list, not a release date, an Instagram post. Since when do we get this down bad, bro? I know non-Cardi fans are wondering like, why does this mysterious IG thotty get so much attention for doing nothing? Well, think of it like this. If I'm going into a world where everybody is attentive, engaging, and open about themselves, and I decide to go against the grain after following it, everybody will wonder what the fuck is up with Spike Lee, you feel me? That's that's how you get all the bitch. I meant fans, you feel me? Being mysterious leads to attracting your audience into figuring out more. No matter if you have anything exciting about you or not, it'll leave others curious. Since the very beginning of his career, Cardi has been keeping music to himself and was known for having a wide amount of unreleased music, often referred to as leaks of music. And all the OG Cardi fans remember this. The OG cover to self-title. This album cover is filled of YouTube comments of people literally begging him to drop or saying he's never gonna drop. Sometimes the leaks can come from hackers other it may come from producers allegedly sharing their music or any other inside source engineers featured artists etc and for snippets usually it's just cardi himself sharing with the world bragging how he has the greatest music he ever made with him nobody else can listen to it the entire community loves and appreciate leaks but snippets are what leads to his fan base becoming hungry for more music but when we hear a five second snippet that shit just draws so much anticipation towards his next album due to fans assuming that he'll have the snippet up there and 90% of the time, we wrong as hell. There's been suspicion that Cardi himself is leaking his own music. Now, do we know if that's true? No. But does it make sense? Eh, low key. At this point, fans are literally starting to track his entire unreleased discography on an Excel sheet just so they can keep up with all of his music. And you want to know something crazier? As of today, he has dropped 60 tracks, including two singles and three full-length albums. But from the Excel sheet, he has 589 unreleased songs. To put in perspective, this means for every five released Cardi songs, there is literally 49 unreleased Cardi songs. Now for the outsiders, y'all guys are probably wondering why are people going crazy for this artist? People that don't appreciate Cardi music can easily just be like, his music doesn't hold substance, share no rapping ability, and it's just rapping nonsense. On a lyrical standpoint, you might be absolutely correct. We ain't listening to Cardi for that shit. We are listening to Playboy Cardi, not Kendrick Lamar. Cardi's attraction doesn't come from his lyricism or rapping, clearly. It comes from his energy. I feel like throughout his career, his energy has merged into different forms, but they all have been exclusionary. No glazing, but no one, and I mean no one, shares the same energy that Cardi has. The energy that Cardi gives off is very, very addicting. Like, it makes you feel good. Like, once you hear certain songs, it's just like, bro, I can't get this from no other artist. It leaves us to cater towards him and what he's doing. This energy, he has been able to shift the soundscape of the entire genre of music. So far, Playboy Cardi has been through four different sounds. Got his Cash Cardi phase, self-titled, Dalit, and whole lot of red. Every new phase, Cardi has been able to gain many fans also while losing some. For example, his newest album, Whole Lot of Red, was one of the most anticipated albums in recent history. When his fan base heard it for the first time, it was it was a dramatic change from what we were used to. The outcome of that led into a lot of controversy and a lot of fans turned away. The majority of the fans were disappointed and soon to realize that it was his best album. I don't know about all that. But yeah, a lot of people say it's his best album. With Risk, there are huge rewards. At a smaller margin, this also happened with self-titled and Dalit because it wasn't the traditional Cardi that they heard before the album dropped. But all that shit was fire, bro. Like, don't get it twisted. Even for people that isn't Cardi fans, rather if it's from him switching his sound up or from never being able to enjoy or get into his music, I feel like his influence is undeniable. Cardi's style was highly interpreted into the styles of many underground artists and even mainstream artists who have been well established beforehand. Somehow, he even found his way to inspire Jay-Z. 
Yes, bro. Jay-Z. Jay-Z even said it himself. Another great point is his production style. Back in the underground days, he consistently worked with producers Mexico drawing Ethereal. Shout out to Mexico drawing the beat plug. They pioneered plug music where Cardi was one of the first rappers on that wave. This style of production has been heavily used in a new genre titled Plug and B. And you can even see like Mexico Dro was on with Florida with love. Hey, plug. Writing this from Florida with love. When I link with Mexico, I knew I found a plug. Every time y'all hear that plug, just know Cardi inspiration is in the room. As of Ethereum, he's known for his atmospheric production, rather if it make you feel like you're floating or if it make you feel like you in a video game. Ethereum and Cardi songs has been remixed from Flo Millie to Lil Nas X remixing Beef and Sheck West remixing Lost. But that's just the beginning, you feel me? With self-titled and dot lip, it's hard to overlook the production from Pierre Bourne. This leads to Pierre being noticed as one of the best trap producers of all time. Technically, Young Nudie made music with Pierre beforehand, but it wasn't until Cardi collabed with him that he had, he had seen major buzz. He has now worked with big names such as Kanye West, Young Thug, Travis Scott, and many more. His most recent album, Whole Lot of Red, has been consistent with rock-inspired instrumentals where rage music was defined. So after this album success, we have witnessed new artists come up from the rage music sound with rock-inspired production and unique vocal performances. Cardi has also been influential on the fashion state point as well. Believe it or not, when Cardi said, Walk up to niggas sounding like me, talk. He really meant that shit. And this is exactly why Cardi may end up being the most influential artist in the 2020s. The reason this mysterious motherfucker gets so much attention is because he deprives us and his fans are delusional. And fans get hype every single time just to be disappointed. What happened to Monday? Nothing happened that Monday, bro. The reason we are so attentive to when he's doing something is because he never does anything at all. He stays off of social media. He never dropped music. It's rare when you hear him on a feature. Somehow, just meeting with him, you need to sign an NDA which is crazy but like at one point you y'all gotta look and be like is this nigga really doing this on purpose because i believe he is and it's not that i believe i know that nigga doing this shit on purpose but yeah man honestly me being a cardi fan myself i'm tired of this mysterious shit man i do not feed into that shit bro you one of the most lying motherfuckers i ever paid attention to so in reward of that, I'm not believing shit that nigga say, bro. For all the people that's following Cardi and trying to see everything he's doing and getting hyped off of the little shit he's doing, looking at his likes, get a life. <laughs> like, honestly, get a fucking job. Just like y'all bet Cardi to drop, I'm begging y'all to stop bothering that nigga, bro. Like, I'm not even Cardi and I'm annoyed by it. Like, But yeah, that's my advice to y'all and my knowledge to y'all, man. Peace out. Have a wonderful day. Receive a lot of blessed money and positivity for all the homies out there. Spike Leak tuning out. Wavy is boss in the game.